I'm the pineapple with the cheese is amazing. <laughs> oh my god, mm -hmm. that's crazy good. Good morning everyone, I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here, coming at you from beautiful Jackson Heights, Queens, New York City. Today I'm so excited because I'm in with my friend Diana. Diana is a Colombian living in New York City and she told me that we had to come out here to try some delicious Colombian food. So today we're doing a Colombian food tour. We're hitting up three spots. So what do we know about this area? Jackson Heights is one of the most, if not the most diverse neighborhood in New York City. So if you want to check out different cultures and different foods, you have to come here. Definitely come here for Colombian food. Lots of culture, lots of delicious food. More than 300 dialects and languages are spoken just in this neighborhood. So you definitely have to check it out. So we're starting off at Cositas Ricas. We're going to have a light breakfast. From here we're going to La Pequeña Colombia, which is the oldest Colombian restaurant in New York City. And then after that we're going to the Arepa Lady. Mm, very famous. Famous, right? Just Arepas. A celebrity. Yeah? Yep. Okay, awesome. <laughs> so let's go inside. Yep. So like most countries in the world, uh, you start your day with coffee. And we call it, we call coffee tinto. So a tinto is like a very, not a very light, it's kind of like an Americano. Uh, yeah, so we should definitely start with a tinto and then go from there. Desayuno Montañero, which is going to have calentado. Uh, which is basically leftover food, but it's not going to be leftover here. <laughs> it's going to have arepa and chicharrón. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All right. Yeah, and we're going to be sharing that. All right. Your pericos might be a little bit of an odd combination, but I really want him to try huevos pericos. Yeah. So let's get huevos pericos. Picante. Yeah. I go picante, see? Yeah. Okay, so we are ready with some coffee. Tinto, right? Tinto. In this case, we're going to call it a tintico because it's a small. Okay. Tico, perfect. And you drink it like this, or you add sugar? I don't add any sugar. I don't add anything to it. Um, just black coffee. Just black coffee, yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. mm. It almost feels like an americano. It almost like an americano, yes. Well, there are different ways to make tinto. Okay. A lot of people think that it's like watered down coffee, and that's the reason they don't like this type of coffee, and they exactly. prefer an espresso, velvety texture without the coffee being watered down. Okay. So it's gonna, it's gonna get you up though, like an Americano, right? Like it's super strong. Yes, okay. yeah. No, this is definitely uh, gonna have a good amount of caffeine and we will drink in Colombia several of these per day. Several per day? Several per day. And okay. coffee is, um, this is a health announcement. Coffee is actually good for you. So it is okay, <laughs> unless your doctor says not to drink coffee. Exactly. Coffee is actually not bad for you. Yeah. So it's okay to drink a few per day. It's not, it's, it's a fruit. Yeah, exactly. I mean, in Miami, I drink, now I, I've switched to cold brew, so I drink like two a day. Before, I was drinking like three coladas a day, like mm -hmm. crazy. Too much coffee, but, <laughs> but it's good. Yeah. And I love this setting. So this is like a Colombian diner, right? People yeah. are here for breakfast. They also have lunch and dinner options. They have a bar, a really beautiful diner. I mean, it's traditional, right? That's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. This is also what a traditional uh, cafeteria will look like if you're in Colombia. So I think they did a really nice job in combining. Like replicated it. Yes, and also with an American context, with the bar that the diners would have here in the US. Exactly, and so they're making smoothies in the back. Sorry about the noise, but they're doing something over there. Yeah. And uh, yeah, lots of people here. Yeah, I'm excited. Yes. Tengo hambre. This coffee's perfect. Yeah, right? In la mano. Yeah, they made it really cold in here for some reason. Yes. <laughs> okay, my friend, let's do this. We have the mountain feast. Yes. This is how you start the day. If you live uh, in the coffee region. Okay, in the coffee region. Yes. Wow. So this is called Sayuro Montañero. Montañero meaning from the mountains. Mm -hmm. And you basically eat everything that was left over from the day before. You mix it up and you put it in a pot and that's breakfast. And then you add eggs and everything. Amazing. So we have... Uh, Plantain right here. Yep. We have the you know the red beans mixed with rice. Yep. Then we have right here chicharrones. This is pork rinds, right? Oh, I love this. Mm -hmm. Crunchy, fatty. The oils come out. Mm. Got eggs, and then we have that arepa. I've never seen arepa like this. Little thinner and bigger. Mm -hmm. And that's just the way they make arepa in Antioquia. So you're gonna find different types of arepas in different parts of the region of the country. And this is just a traditional arepa from Antioquia, from the 
and Tokyo region. They're very thin and very large. Okay, so how do we start? We have some uh, ahi on the side. So our food is not usually spicy by itself, but you okay. can always ask for to have ahi on the side and you can put it on top of, um, of that. But we also have the, the huevos pericos, which are huevos with uh, tomato and uh, eggs. What I like to do, mm -hmm. I like to put some huevitos on top of my arepa. On top, huh? On top. Like that. You just, yeah, and you get some it. more or no? No, that I just eat like that. And then I'm gonna put this, it actually looks like a like a salsa. That is not right or wrong. You can just however you want to do it. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. El queso. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like Venezuela, Colombia, they love their white cheese. Mm -hmm. It melts, but just enough. Mm -hmm. It's not as greasy as mozzarella cheese. No, it's more crumbly. Exactly, it's a little bit more crumbly. Wow, yeah. this is fantastic. A little arepa, nice corn, right? Mm -hmm. So if you guys don't know what arepa is, it's made out of corn dough, yeah. right? This was super thin, a little crispy from the bottom. Yeah. Nice layer of cheese. That's the good thing about this arepa, is that it, com it goes well with all the other dishes because it's mm -hmm. sort of plain. Yeah, so it's a little bland. Obviously, you add things to it. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna jump on this. Go for the calentado. 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 Mmm. Good, right? Oh, I love the vegetables in here. So, what do we have? So, these are the red beans mixed with white rice. The red beans have been made with a mixture of tomato, onion, maybe it has some cumin, maybe it has some other spices to like it. Like celery in here? Green okay. um, yeah. And you also have a sausage. And you also have the chorizo. Okay. Yeah, the sausage. Also chorizo in Colombia, different regions will have different types of sausages. Spicy? No, it's oily, right? Yeah. It's como así, no? I'm a big sausage guy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. So I know. Mm -hmm. This is so good. I haven't had Colombian food in a long time, so this is a real treat for me. Mm -hmm. This is Maduro, no? Maduro. So Maduro is basically sweet plantain, right? Exactly. Plantains, you can eat them when they are green and when they are ripe. The riper they are, the sweeter they are. That is ridiculous. It literally melted in my mouth. Yes. It's so good. one of the most versatile, delicious vegetables there are. And we that eat is. it all the time. You can actually make dessert with that. Yes. That is so unreal. Yes. Yes. And so we mix more, right? If you want to. Yeah. I feel like if I jump on the, the pork rinds, it'll be too much. Yeah. So I'm gonna get some more eggs. Yes. Mix it with some of this. Yes. And this is what I like about Colombian food. You can, you're allowed to do this. Oh, La yeah. Mezcla. Yeah, yeah. Mm. You are so allowed. Just use basically onions and tomatoes for everything. For everything. Yeah, lots of vegetables. Exactly. And lots of pork in Colombia, no? Yes. I wouldn't say it's chutney, I'd say more salsa, more liquidy, right? Yeah. Really with this, every restaurant makes its own, yeah. I would say. And some are spicier. Yeah, some are spicier. We don't necessarily eat a lot of spices like in Mexico, for instance. Mm -hmm. uh, which a lot of people think that Colombian food is spicy, it's not gonna be, I mean spicy hot, it's not gonna be spicy hot. This place is so packed right now, it took us like 20 minutes to get our coffee. <laughs> Super busy. I mean, it's jam packed. You know, that's one thing you gotta know is that most restaurants, Colombian restaurants in the area, open late around 10 a.m., 11 a.m. This one opens 8:30. So it's one of the few ones that are really open early, and that's why it gets busy. So yeah, exactly. Early. And if you want, you can get what we got, which is basically a taste of all of Colombia. But it's a big meal. You can easily split it between two people. Obviously, we're going to many places, so we're limiting ourselves. I'm gonna pack this up, take it to go. Let me do some more chicharrón. Okay, I'll help you. <laughs> this for me is Latin America. Mm. <laughs> Tasty, but goes right here. <laughs> Luckily, we were gonna be walking today. Yeah, that's the best part about New York City, right? We're gonna yeah. walk the whole area, and every place we're going to today is literally on a strip. Yeah. Right, just walking down. Oh yes. Okay, next up, we're going to La Pequeña Colombia. La Pequeña Colombia. Okay, so which way we're headed? That way, okay, awesome. You know, I've been to Colombia only one time. Uh -huh. I did Cartagena y Isla Baru. Si. Sí. And that's it. I haven't been to Medellin, I haven't been to Bogota, 
I'm missing a lot. We are, when you go to Colombia, we're going to go to different places, but we're going to go to this very special place called Santa Marta. Eh, vamos a ir a Tairona, la ciudad perdida. Eh, bueno, nada, te voy a llevar a todas partes. I'm going to take you everywhere. This is uh, Pollos Mario. This is a Colombian franchise restaurant, and they're known for their rotisserie chicken. And I love it because the architecture, if you can see, they try to make it look like uh, the houses in the coffee region with the nice balconies and the tiles on the top and the red and whites. It's really, really beautiful. I love this strip right here, you know, under this metro line. This is like the most famous area here, right? Yeah, yeah. This is Pequena Colombia, the oldest Colombian restaurant in New York City. Let's go inside, let's eat. You know, this is a little different from the other place. The other place is a diner. This is more like a formal setting, right? Yes, this okay. is a little bit more formal. You can maybe host a party here with friends for dinner. Exactly, and they have Colombian music playing. Yep, yep. And here we have something really different. I've actually never seen this before. So you have hot chocolate, right? And you have white cheese. Yes, the chocolate is a very essential thing for us to uh, drink in the morning for breakfast and then mid-afternoon we also can have it as a snack. And we uh, put the cheese inside the chocolate and then it melts and it's just this really nice combination. It's very odd so and I hope you like it. We just drop it in? Yeah, so let me show you. Just like that? Just like that. So while we wait for the cheese to melt, we ha also have Agua de panela or agua panela. Panela. Sure. Agua panela, yeah. So this is uh, sugar cane. It is basically sugar cane uh, water. Okay, do I just uh, drink it? You can just drink it. It's really mm, sweet. sweet. Super sweet. Oh, this is amazing. Energetic. It's going to give you a lot of energy. Is it? Yes. yes. Mm. So it's a little different from having sugar cane juice on the streets of India, right? This is mixed with something else? It is just the actual panela, which is basically a mixture that is solidified and okay. made into this really hard block that okay. we call panela. And then it is melted into the water and then we, we make this drink. You can just drink it like that or you can add lime into it, okay. which is uh, really tasty as well. And we also add the cheese. Also the cheese inside We it. also add the cheese. So these are two breakfast things? Yes. For the most part. You drink this uh, during breakfast, but you can also have this a mid afternoon. Okay. We call it onces. Um, it's like a midday snack. Like a midday snack, okay. exactly. And so, do we go in and get the cheese, or do we just drink? You can do both. You can do I both? would just say try to uh, fish for the for the cheese. Fish for it. Yeah. If it's if it's this. hot enough, it melts. It didn't actually get to melt, mm -hmm. but it's just it's weird, right? Oh wow. <laughs> I mean, it feels like just cacao. It's huh. almost like pure cacao here. Uh -huh. It's not like a regular hot chocolate. No. Oh, whoa. Mmm. Big combination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, um, the hot chocolate, our hot chocolate is not going to be like a dark, hearty hot chocolate. Yeah, it's chocolate. not thick. It's this not is a little more like liquidy. It is more liquidy, yeah. Mmm. Very nice. Yeah, so I would say this is more like a 70% cacao if you had a, like a bar of chocolate. Mm -hmm. A little bit of sugar there, you know? Yeah. I mean, the combination is really unique. Yeah. I've never done this before. And you also have the cheese inside here, and right? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Me encanta eso. Sí. Wow. Oh my gosh. Ah, that's a tamal. Oh my gosh. Look at that tamal here. This is a monster. <laughs> And they already opened it, right? So they took off the, the, the leaf. They already opened it for us. So this is a plantain leaf. And then we also have a mini arepa. A mini arepa. And this is like more of the Venezuelan style. Yeah, I would say Venezuelan ones are usually a are little bigger. bit larger. But, but they're like this, they're thick. Yeah, you know? but they're thick. And then we also have over here the empanadas. As we mentioned earlier, empanadas is a staple in Latin America. Uh, basically every country does it differently. Yeah. If you go to India, it's samosa. Mm -hmm. If you go to Uzbekistan, it's somsa. It just depends on how they do it yep. sometimes baked sometimes could be, fried with your dumplings as well exactly, dumplings. exactly so our empanadas are made with um, corn dough yeah uh, for example argentinians makes make theirs with um flour flour yeah uh, so it's yeah. over the corn flour usually exactly and then what's the stuffing uh, the stuffing here do we want to find out yeah let's find out all right it's just beef oh my gosh oh it's hot beef overload beef overload oh yeah it does have some potatoes too we also have a spicy sauce I don't know how spicy that's gonna be. Okay. So do you want? Yes, let me try it. Yeah, I'll pour it on you. 
I love the crunchiness of this. Yeah, it's very different it's in terms really of like dry. the Argentine empanadas. Also, the the Cuban ones are very different from this too. Mm -hmm. yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Hot. Mm. 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 Mm -hmm. Me encanta. Delicioso. Muy rico. Mm. Mm. Sí, 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 porfa. Mm -hmm. So she's also gonna bring a red, like a chili sauce, right? Mm. This one's green chili. Yeah, this is um, this is actually spicy, but good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. It's manageable. She's going to bring salsa rosada. Mmm. Okay. So this is gonna be mayo and ketchup. Exactly. <laughs> you guys love it down there, right? Yeah. It's a big thing. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. I'd rather this. You know, just go like this and get a little bit. Mm-hmm. Mm. I love this sauce. Wow. It is yeah. spicy. It is spicy. You got the bigger side. I got the bigger one. No, they did a really nice job with the crust in here. Yeah, so mm -hmm. sometimes you get way too much batter mm -hmm. and less filling. This one, as you can see, it's like 90% is filling, 10% mm. is the batter. Mm -hmm. That was good, but mm. I think if we eat all this, we're not gonna be able to eat this monster. <laughs> es tamal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what is tamal? And what is this version? Because the Colombian version is a little different, right? Mm -hmm. Banana mm -hmm. leaf. Correct? Exactly. So a tamal is something that is wrapped. Okay. So um, the most common tamales are the Mexican tamales that everyone knows. Exactly. They're wrapped in the corn husk. Our uh, tamales in Colombia are wrapped in banana uh, leaves, which are really, really large. Exactly. They can be square like this or round and wrapped like a candy like that. Okay, okay. I've seen that. Yeah. And then you make, it involves a lot of steps to make this dough and all the ingredients and then um, it's wrapped and cooked in water. Um, okay, and so it's corn dough mixed with like beef, vegetables. Traditionally, it will have um, pork, okay. maybe chicken. Uh, we might find some carrots, some peas. Okay, Yep. let's do it. All right. Oh, we just dive in? Yes, just dive in. Okay, See. look at that. So this is pork? That is pork. Mm-hmm, cheers. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, it's, it's well seasoned. I wouldn't add anything else to it. Okay. But you might want to add ahi or some mm -hmm. type of spicy sauce. Exactly. But to me, it's already very flavorful. Mm -hmm. but so the, my first bite was very chunky, just a little of pork. And then I grabbed a little bit of the dough and mm -hmm. I love how it's just like, it's like dense, mm -hmm. right? All together. Yeah. Mm, right here, the little skinam. And if you want, you can get some of this spice. Mm hmm. Yes. Okay. Spicy lover. <laughs> hey, it's incredible. You know, I've had a lot of tamales in my life. They're, for me, this having the banana leaf just brings it, you know, gives it a different flavor. Oh, absolutely. It yeah. changes everything. Absolutely, yeah. I'm all about banana leaves, you know. Going to India, eating banana, everything with banana leaf. Yeah. Does it just change the, the flavor profile? It has to be a reason yeah, for right. it. Yeah, right. So we just cut it like that. Cheers. Mm -hmm. It's also a very filling dish though. Oh it's yes. Like just this and that's it. This is a very common dish, at least from the region of Bogota where I come from. This would be a brunch meal. A brunch meal? So very common to eat this on a Sunday, like around brunch time. Okay. So you have this with um, the hot chocolate, okay. bread or arepa, and that basically will get you through the whole day. Get you through the whole day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this feels like more like Campo food. Somebody's gonna go out to the field. They'll eat a big thing like this. I mean, obviously, I don't know if that's exactly how it works, but you know, certain countries, that's how it is. You know, have yeah. a huge meal, really filling. You have all the carbs for the day, lots of energy. Yeah. And I mean, if you think about everything here, everything is really filling. Everything is carbohydrates. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, definitely a lot of protein. But yeah, you got all your um, mm -hmm. or your food groups certainly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and if you want, you can jump on the little. Arepa, but mm -hmm. we're going to the arepa lady next, so I'm holding off, mm -hmm. waiting for her. Everything was fantastic. I love the empanada. Yeah. For me, the uh, the sugarcane juice, ¿cómo se llama? Agua panela. Agua panela. That was absolutely incredible. Yeah. After this, we just have arepas, right? Arepas and cheese. Yes. <laughs> Por Dios. Mm -hmm. Sapicante. Yo sé, yo sé. See, I've had something similar of, like this in Quito, Ecuador. Mm. Cold day, they give you this a little hot. 
our region, three things are very important. Uh, el cacao. Okay. Cacao. Uh, corn. Okay. The coffee as well. Cacao goes back to the Mayans where they were the ones who actually started exactly. first making cacao drinks for their rituals. So basically corn and cacao stem from Central America all the way down to Peru, from my understanding. And in, in, in Peru is like a hundred variations of corn. Yes. And my favorites are the, the big blue ones. Yes. Oh, so good. Absolutely, absolutely. And these communities, they really do try to preserve all these varieties of corn, which is so important. Mm -hmm. La Pequena Colombia approved. Mm. Let's go. Gracias. Vaya muy bien. Muy bien. Nos, nos dice por dónde vemos todo. Sí, sí, sí. Let's go to Arepa Lady. The Arepa Lady. La, la Arepa Lady. La Arepa Lady. So you can find a lot of street vendors selling Spanglish books right here. And I'll, you can literally find everything on this street. You can find anything from food, bakery, you can find bars at night. Yeah, so along with all the restaurants, you have some vendors selling street food. You also have some of these, which I like this for my kids. I was thinking of buying one of these. You know, the map of South America, so while they eat breakfast, they can learn about the map. Also, you know, coloring books, you know, a variation of books here. That's basically it, right? You can also find the places that are very common for sending food, for sending boxes to your home country, remittances, immigrant services, all of those things you can find here. This is crazy. We just made a right, mm -hmm. and it's like a suburb here. Here's like, houses. Yes, and the noise level automatically went down. It dropped because yeah. it's so loud over there. Yeah, over there you have people talking, honking, rushing, subway. you got the subway, everything. Yeah. And this, I mean, literally, it's like you change completely. The contrast is huge. Beautiful, full of trees and all the houses. You can just see families here having picnics or cookouts on Sundays. Full of life, but really, really more quiet and uh, Arepa Lady is just around the corner. After a five minute walk, we are here at the Arepa Lady. Let's go inside and eat some arepas. Okay, amigo, listo, listo. <laughs> All right, so we came to the back to see how they make some arepas. Nelly. Hola, como estan? Listo. So right now, we she's making two different types of arepas. She's making a arepa de choclo that we call, is the yellow big one, and it's made with sweet corn. And then she's making uh, the traditional white corn arepa as well. And that's gonna be salty. And I think we might, and it's gonna have cheese inside as well. So right now she's uh, on the grill. One of them is gonna be folded with the cheese. Yeah. And then the other one has cheese inside. Yeah, so it already has cheese inside. The bigger one, right? The, the thicker one. The thin one, it almost looks like a cachapa, which is basically a, you know, a breakfast item in Venezuela, which is corn, pancake with cheese exactly. here's a little different yeah. but it's still sweet very sweet yeah. oh it smells great okay <laughs> she's like you can have some juices i was like give me some aguardiente she's like yes yeah. we got it that's their like that's almost like the rocky grafa <laughs> so before we start with the arepas we're gonna have some juices so this is maracuya which is passion fruit mm -hmm. and this is lulu this is lulu Lulo. Lulo. L U L O. Lulo. And what is that? Lulo is a fruit that is very acid, very similar to if you like maracuya, mm -hmm. passion fruit, you're gonna enjoy Lulo as well. Cheers. Salud. Salud. Oh my gosh. So good. So it's acidic, but it's so tasty. So refreshing. Mm, so refreshing. I mean, this super hot day in Colombia just like level you out, right? Yes, yes. We have a lot of different varieties of fruits in mm -hmm. Colombia. We will drink fruit juice pretty much every day, all yeah. the time. With lunch, we have juice. I mean, you're in the uh, tropics, right? Yes. Uh, Still a little bit. Of course. Oh my gosh. It's tasty too, right? Mm -hmm. Sweeter. A little sweeter. Mm -hmm. They also put a little bit of sweetener in the Heard air they? as well. Yeah. Mm. I mean, for me, this is very easy to drink before after a meal mm -hmm. you know even at the beach it's like perfect perfect so more coffee thank you how is it colombia right yes sir <laughs> mm. if you have to add sweetener sugar milk coffee ain't good no this is good coffee yep you have to give it a try a little bit little little by little mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. this mm. one you taste a lot more the coffee compared to the last one this is a little stronger right mm-hmm Comparison, again, this is more like an Americano. 
in style. And it's larger. Yeah, it's larger. Yeah. yeah, the other one was a tinto, you called it? No. Yeah, this could also be considered tinto, but this is drip coffee. I'm getting like up. <laughs> it, like it takes you up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Whoa. We have four different arepas. Four. Four. Crazy. Look at this. All right, so this is the traditional one, right? This is more like Venezuelan style, like stuffed. Arepa relleno. Mm-hmm, and then this is the sweet corn one, which is similar to cachapa. Mm -hmm. A little different, obviously they put some chorizo in there, right? Yes. Then this one is arepa with cheese inside and they put cheese on top. On top, yeah, so this is where they take the dough and they mix it together with the cheese, so it's this really cheesy, soft dough. Oh, oh and that one mm -hmm. is called arepa de tela, which is the very thin arepa. Yes, it's a very crispy one. Crispy one. We also have over here all the sauces. sauces. That's what Colombia is all about, right? Salsa. So we have Salsa. piña. Piña. Right? I don't know what this one is. Salsa rosada, okay. so ketchup and um, mayo. Mayo, and then this one is... I think that's... I forgot what that is. Okay, so it's probably like garlic and cilantro. Oh, yes. That's the garlic one. Yes. Yeah. That's the garlic one. And this one is a new discovery that I made today. What is, is it? La lechera. La lechera. It's sweet and condensed milk. Okay. Apparently, some people put sweet and condensed milk on some arepas. That's crazy. That's just making it extra sweet. I don't know why. I've never done it, but I think we should try it. And this is the. This is my favorite already. Hot. Yeah, it's hot. Okay. So how do we start? I would start with this one. Look at that. So the cheese has been mixed in the dough before they cook it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, still hot. Yeah. Mm. Oh, por Dios, que rico. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Mm. Mm -hmm. A little bit sweet. No sweet. Mm -hmm. It actually reminds me of the cachapa. Mm. Nice corn. Sweet corn, right? Mm -hmm. no, but Whoa. this is not sweet corn. This is the white corn, mm -hmm. which is not supposed to, it's not truly not sweet, but for some reason it's got a sweet flavor to it. Yeah. The arepa. I don't know. I spent the taste, it feels almost like a chapa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Feeling. And then mm. I'm gonna add one of these, right? On top. A little spice. Mm. I would put pineapple sauce here. No? Mm hmm. Is that good enough? Mm hmm. All right. I'm gonna try it too. Mmm. The pineapple with the cheese is amazing. <laughs> oh my god, mm -hmm. it was crazy good. It's funny, I was like looking at the food, like I'm gonna take one bite of each. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, next up we have the sweet corn, right? And they yes. stuffed it with cheese and chorizo. I have never had this one stuffed with chorizo before. Wow, look at that, so you I've open it up. always had it, always with the cheese. So you've never had this many arepas at one time? In my life. In your life, And okay. I don't think I ever will. <laughs> <laughs> So let's grab a piece like this, right? Yeah. Get the cheese, chorizo. I'm gonna try it with chorizo as well. And the sweet corn. Um, okay. Mmm. Personally, I like that more. That one was like mm -hmm. extra good. Mm. I mean, this is a breakfast item you have in the morning, add some spice, you know, really filling. Again, with these arepas, it's all about getting full, right? Mm -hmm. Then we have to jump on this one, which is El Clásico, no? Yes. This is arepa de tela. Tela's fabrics because it's really thin. This is how I would eat it. Do it. I would just... But we want to eat it at the same time. So we should just break it with our hands. Should break it with our hands? I'll let you the, the honors. This is gonna crack, right? No sé. Mm, let me try. Like that? Yeah. I love the music. So it's traditional. Colombian music. Right now we're listening to salsa. Salsa. Mm. Ah. I'm gonna have mine without uh, chicharrón. Okay. Mm. 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 It's got a little bit of the pork flavor. Mm -hmm. This is one of my favorite types of arepas. Mm -hmm. I just love the, the texture. It's a little bit soft inside, mm -hmm. but crunchy. And I just love this type of arepa because you can honestly we keep them in the fridge, mm -hmm. just put them on the grill, and, that's and it. you can put anything on top, and it's like a really good meal. Yeah, I heard you can take this like even hiking with you, right? Just put it in like. <laughs> no, I'm saying just you heat can. it up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's can. all. And yeah. with the pineapple sauce, I'm sure it's gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Nice and crunchy. Still a little doughy. Now we're gonna get on to the big boy. This one's huge. And this is how you would have it in Venezuela. Very similar, right? So they always open it up. 
and they stuff it with whatever you want. Yeah. Here they added, uh, so they added carne, so you got meat, and then you also have cheese, right? Bite into it. Uh, so this one I have to just go into it? You just have to go for it. I guess. I'll watch it. I guess we're not sharing this one. No. And the bottom is super moist because all the juices have flowed to the bottom. Well, luckily I live here, so I can come back and eat it and have some more. Mmm. Mm. Nice tender beef. Mmm. Very moist. I like the areba. Nice and soft. Not anything compared to this one. Yeah. Yes, sir? It's just soft, you know, doughy, full cheese. I mean, it's an overload, right? They really stuffed it. So this is something you get, you know, on the go for lunch. You have one and you're good. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna add this, a little spice. It's that muy rico. Like, you look like you're enjoying that. Mm. <laughs> I'm loving that. The best one is this one. Even though you've been into it, I'll bite into it too. That one was my favorite as well. Mm. So good. And if you want to try sauces, go for this one. Pineapple. The pineapple is game changer. <laughs> wow, it's the first time I tried pineapple sauce like that. Really? Yeah. Never. We love putting pineapple sauce on things like arepas, hot dogs. Hot dogs, yeah. Pizza. Please don't be upset. Pizza? <laughs> but we do eat the pineapple with pizza as well. Okay. So tell them in pizza. Yeah, we call it Hawaiian pizza though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my friends, we did it. We went to three spots. Cositas ricas? Cositas ricas. So we had breakfast at Cositas ricas. Mm -hmm. We had like a mountain meal. Basically just like beans, rice, chicharron. We had a calentado. Calentado. We also wow. had arepa. We had arepa as well there too. We're delicious, you know, that's more like diner style. Go there in the morning, 8.30 in the morning they open so you can get there really early. Then after that we went over to La Pequeña Colombia oldest Colombian restaurant in New York City. It's more traditional, right? You can feel it as soon as you walk in. Traditional style restaurant, mm -hmm. really good empanadas. I mean, that was the best thing, right? Yeah. Well, the tamale was also really good too. The tamale, we ate it all. We ate it all. We ate it. it was that good. How, how did we eat all this food? I don't know. And we also had the chocolate there. Hot chocolate and agua panela. And agua panela. That was awesome. And then from there, we just walked right over. So everything is really close to each other. Yeah. Like literally five minute walk, five minute walk. Mm -hmm. And then we came here, we tried four different arepas at the Arepa Lady. Gotta say, the, my favorite was that one, which is like a mix of cheese with dough and then cheese on top. So it's yeah. a little sweet, really nice. Then you have the crunchy one, the tela, arepa right? De tela, arepa yes. de tela. And you have this one stuffed, and then you have this one, which arepa is de choclo. the choclo, which the is sweet one. sweet one. Not not as sweet as that one, but mm. definitely there. Yeah. And you have all the sauces. You have coffee, huge yeah, coffee pinto. culture. Also, don't forget the juice. The juices. I mean, everything we did today is like how you would eat in Colombia, no? Absolutely. Yes. Awesome. Not in one day, all of it at the same time. <laughs> you shouldn't. We did all this in a, in a five-hour span, but we're good. We're good. <laughs> So now you know if you're ever in New York City, come out here to Jackson Heights, Queens, and get a taste of Colombia in America. You will absolutely love it. Diana, thank you so much. Gracias, gracias por todo. Uh, amazing. Well, guys, if you love the video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe my channel for more awesome travel content. See you next travel food adventure somewhere around the world.